Soaring liquor licensing fees that threaten to force the early closure of some bars and clubs have been abolished. But the state government says reform is still on the agenda with changes planned to help renew the CBD. Planned changes to liquor licensing fees may be off the table, but the Attorney General's keeping his glass half full. I don't think it's a backflip. I think it's a, it's a case of the government uh, realising after consultation with the community that we could do something uh, in a better way than we have. Punitive fees of up to $10,700 for late night trading had hoteliers frothing. What they were proposing was potentially quite severe and, and certainly it overestimated what the industry was able to pay. The government relenting to reduce them to mere small beer, as little as 700 for low capacity venues. It's going to um, probably save the nightlife of Adelaide actually, it's going to keep kids in jobs. It follows another backflip over a planned three hour shutdown of late night venues. So after two aborted attempts at liquor licensing reform, the government's hoping to make it third time lucky. It wants to introduce a new class of small bar licence to encourage boutique laneway bars. Mr Rao and Lord Mayor Stephen Yarwood sampled the wares in Melbourne over the weekend, all in the name of research, of course. Well, we didn't quite go out on the tiles. We, we had a, a quiet dinner and, and I can tell you he's an enthusiastic person as well. And if those changes don't make Victoria bitter, they're sure to rile the hotel's lobby. We've argued long and hard that in fact there's nothing in that happens in Melbourne or Sydney or Perth that can't happen here under our current regime. Tom Richardson, Nine News.